Hello everyone, I'm Jerome Harris from DVDScopy.com and in this video I have another one for you. It's Blu-ray to DVD to Professional by Open Cloner. You're looking at the graphical user interface and it's uh, pretty nice looking. Now what can this uh, software do? Well, you can do a Blu-ray to DVD copy. You can do a Blu-ray movie and split it to uh, appear on two DVDs. You can copy a Blu-ray movie to an HVCHD and you can also copy a Blu-ray movie to multi HVCHDs. So uh, in this video I'm just going to show you how to use the program to copy a Blu-ray movie onto a blank DVD disc. So the first thing that you're going to want to have to do here is go ahead and install the program obviously and make sure that you have plenty of hard drive space. In all my videos uh, when I discuss uh, Blu-ray copy software, I always uh, recommend that you have at least 60 gigabytes of free space on your hard drive for Blu-ray copy. And not even try to attempt to copy Blu-ray movies if you don't have plenty of hard drive space. Now in your PC configuration, you're going to have to have at a minimum a Blu-ray reader. Now, if you have a Blu-ray burner, that's fine because it doubles as both a Blu-ray reader and a Blu-ray burner. Now, if you only have a Blu-ray reader in your PC, then you're going to have to have a DVD burner because you're copying a Blu-ray movie and you're burning it to a blank DVD. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, insert the uh, Blu-ray movie into the Blu-ray burner that I have. And uh, you give it a moment, and let's click on Blu-ray to DVD icon there. And you're going to have to pull down up here and find your movie, and there's my movie. It's on my F drive, which is my Blu-ray burner. And the movie itself is Terminator 2, Blu-ray to DVD to Professional. As it says here, it's scanning the disk information. It'll take just a moment. Before you move on, Pay very close attention to this information right down here. We have two radio buttons, one's uh, two DVD-5 and two DVD-9. What this means here is uh, what are you going to be copying this Blu-ray movie to? By default, it's set to a DVD-5. Now, if you're going to copy this onto a larger format dual-layered DVD-9, then you want to go and click that radio button. Okay, just letting you know that you have that. I am going to copy mine onto a blank DVD-5 and I'll leave it right there. If we click on this symbol right here, it brings up another window that lets you select the various audio tracks appearing on that Blu-ray movie and any subtitle tracks that you want to appear on the copied uh, DVD. Uh, at this point, uh, you can leave everything at its default settings. However, I do recommend that if you can, go ahead and uncheck that DTS, especially if you're copying down to a small format DVD file. Because look at the size of that uh, master audio file that's going to be copied onto that blank DVD. That's a 1.5 gigabytes, so that's a lot of data. So if you select any of these down here, for example, AC three audio you'll be just fine and that's a smaller file size and since I am not French speaking I'm going to go ahead and uncheck French and uh, I'll uncheck the English uh, audio for that file size I just want that right there now over to the right uh, if you want subtitles then this is self-explanatory you can select them now let me scroll down here and you can see that you have Spanish French subtitles on this copy, I don't want any subtitles, so I'll go ahead and uncheck all those. All right, and then click OK. Now, if you click on the Setup button right here, it takes you to another window. This first piece of information right here is simply the location where the software will place the scanned data once it starts to rip it from the Blu-ray movie onto your uh, PC. That's why I mentioned earlier that it's very important that you have plenty of hard drive space because the way DVD copy software works, uh, any kind of DVD copy software works, is that it has to first extract the video and audio components from that uh, Blu-ray movie and place it on your hard drive temporarily. Then it operates on that data on your hard drive 
and then it uh, burns it onto a DVD. So, uh, and again, Blu-ray movies uh, are very high capacity discs. And once you've done that, click OK. And a few other things here you should be aware of before you move on is that you do have a home button here. If you click the home button, it's going to take you back to the main interface. You also have a built-in help section here as well. All right, at your leisure, you can take a look at that. All right, now, now that you have everything set up, go ahead and click the start button. And it's giving you another like, confirmation window saying, okay, are you ready? And we're gonna say, yes, we are. And we want one copy. And we'll click okay. And at this point, uh, Blu-ray to DVD to professional goes through the process of uh, doing the copy. And right now what it's doing, as you can see here, it's saying it's saving the movie to that temporary location as I said now and again I reemphasize make sure that you have plenty of hard drive space uh, for this and I also always recommend at least uh, 60 gigabytes right and so uh, the reason why I didn't rank this software as high as the others is because it, uh, the ones previous to this if you've been following the information on my website at dvdscopy.com I'm looking at a lot of features I'm looking at whether or not uh, a program has a preview pane and this one here does not you know and hey you might not even want that the other programs have features such as it give you more flexibility in how you want a movie copied this one doesn't this is a very nice but uh, <clears throat> excuse me simple to use program basically a point and click type program all right so it's giving us here our time remaining now it's showing over here the time already elapsed now what's interesting about this program if you look at looked at the previous programs that I reviewed this one takes a little longer to copy a blu-ray movie already we're looking at about four hours here and actually four and a half hours whereas in the previous programs that I uh, reviewed and ranked for you those took what two hours two hours and 30 minutes to do a copy so again another reason why I ranked this one uh, lower is because that it takes a little longer to copy a Blu-ray movie to a blank DVD disc. But still, uh, if you're the patient type and you have plenty of time on your hands in our very busy world, uh, you may have four hours to do a copy. You know, you may start this, walk out and do something and come back and it's done. Still, at the other side, you're going to have a great copy of a, a Blu-ray movie. So that's, that accounts for the lower ranking that I gave for this uh, otherwise uh, very nice program. Okay, so rather than sit here and watch this thing go through the full copy process, again, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Once it reaches down to the end here, it clicks down to the end, Blu-ray to DVD to Professional will automatically eject the original Blu-ray movie from your PC and prompt you to insert your blank DVD. Then you click that start button again then it goes through the process of etching or burning that uh, Blu-ray movie to your blank DVD disc. And that will take about uh, 30 minutes. And oftentimes that depends upon the speed of your computer, uh, how much uh, memory resources that you have, the speed of your Blu-ray uh, reader, your DVD burner, and so forth. On average, uh, I will say about 30 minutes to burn the Blu-ray movie. So there you have it. Blu-ray to DVD to Professional by Open Cloner, and this is another one of those programs that work and work well. This is R. Jerome Harris at DVDScopy.com. Thank you for listening.